Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, I want to talk a few, about a few things. Definitely about uh, anxiety and mental health still. Um, starting to figure out. First off, I just got my iPhone 13 Pro Max in the mail today. So, testing out the camera and, you know, I still got a lot to try to figure out about it. Uh, all my other apps are trying to download. It's taking forever. But, um, yeah, I've been just doing my own thing still, you know, working for myself as best as I can, trying to make as much money as I can to pay bills, because I also have this new car that I'm overpaying on, you know, a lot of stressful things still in my life. I cannot get rid of the stress at all. Um, but I really want to talk about PVCs in a way in this video. I know it's been a while since I've talked about them, um, but uh, I kind of noticed something. Ever since I started getting PVCs, you know, I would get them constantly, you know. All the jobs that I've worked at, it made it hell for me to work, and I dreaded every day of going to a 9 to 5 job because of them. Well, you know, I lost my last job at the beginning of, uh, at the beginning of the summer well so I started you know, trying to do my own thing you know trying to build other sources of income as much as I can which has been stress uh, that's been stressful enough but uh I was going to start a job you know I was like you know I kind of wanted consistency I haven't worked an actual physical job since you know the last full time I job I had that I was out for over six years but I left there because that's when I got diagnosed with anxiety and it came out of nowhere and I ended up in the hospital. And I kept going to the hospital because I was paranoid because of my heart, because of PVC. You know how it goes, you get paranoid and you think you have all these problems and you get all these tests. That's how it always goes. Well, I was gonna start this job, you know. They auto you know, I automatically got hired, you know. I was the Amazon delivery driver. Well, I was gonna go work at an actual, uh, facility um an air an air airfield that you loop packages on the aircrafts and everything well as the date started getting closer that i was supposed to start you know i had a few weeks before i had to start you know and i was the good not really dealing with my anxiety even though i had all this stress of everything else going on but as the date started getting closer i noticed my pvcs came back and they came back pretty bad and my anxiety was like it was like all back again and i went a few months without dealing with them you know doing you know doing pretty good for the most part just doing my own thing so i figured out that it's the nine to five job like like that's what's causing them because when this all started, like, it would take a whole video to explain everything I've, you know, everything I've been through in detail. But, uh, before I got diagnosed with anxiety, I was physically normal for the most part, what you call normal. Um, because I worked in a factory. I was able to work fast, backbreaking work. I did not mind working. Um, I actually, I actually missed that job. I really do. And... If it wasn't for me getting anxiety at that moment because of the energy shots and I got PVCs at that moment, I would still be there. You know, I've been there for a long time. I would probably retire from there, even though I've always wanted to work for myself. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, when all that happened, I get like other things are wrong with me that, you know, causes me to not be able to do physical labor jobs anymore and trust me i've tried and you know i want to know you guys opinion on it if this if this happens to you guys with physical labor jobs um because during over the summer you know i would help out my friend with his business and uh we had to load like machine i'd help load machines and stuff like that you know and i just did it for the hell of it something to do and uh I can't stand on my feet for that long um, at all because 
I get dizzy constantly. Like, it's constant dizziness. Like, I can drive. You know, I need driving jobs. That's why I deliver for Amazon. I did that for over two years. Because that was something I was able to handle. You know, I wasn't out of the van for that long. And the packages weren't heavy. You know, I just go up the door, put it down, get back in the van. I got AC. But the thing is with anxiety, you know, how bad mine is, I overheat a lot. Like, I sweat bullets. So even in the winter, I still have my AC on somewhat to keep me cool. And I, when I'm in my house sleeping, I got my ceiling fan on and I got my bedroom box fan on. And we also have central air. But, uh, yeah, it's just something I've noticed. Um, that, that's why my anxiety, that's why I started, they came back. And I think my anxiety hit me bad when I was about to have to start. Because I was about to stand on my feet, you know, for eight hours or so all day. And... I know that I can't do that no more. Um, it's one of them situations, you know, that you don't know what to do. Like I want to get, I want to get a regular job, you know, four hundred one k, you know, and try to get my life back on track. But in the back of my mind, I'm telling myself, like, I know that I can't physically do that anymore. I don't want a job to rely on me because I don't want to have to miss days a lot and this and that for health reasons or whatever because I do get I get dizzy a lot and my lower back would be like this burning pain but uh if I'm on my feet for too long the dizziness always kicks in and it was and like I've always gotten dizzy but not to this point when the anxiety when I got diagnosed with anxiety and PVCs when those happened that's when it got uh really bad it's the worst like because before I would get dizzy spells. They might last 30 minutes or so, and then I come out of it, and I'm I, I will feel drained, but I won't be dizzy anymore, and I can continue working fast again or whatever. Because before my dizzy spells used to make my speech slur while I'll be dealing with it, but now it's uh, a constant thing. If I'm on my legs for too long, um, I can't really run. Um, I haven't ran in years because of it, you know, like this mental health, like I've always had depression always, but like, you know, I've explained the story in a video, how I got my anxiety, you know, I was quitting, you know, painkillers at the point, at that time I was low on energy. I took more energy shots than I should have that day. Cause I was addicted to energy shots. And then I, you know, all I felt was sweat dripping down my face and then my heart started beating like it's gonna come out my chest and at that moment I thought I was about to die from a heart attack I got up I got my car and tried to drive around drive it off it got worse I called 911 went to the hospital they told me it was a panic attack which I said you know I never had panic attacks before and I told them you know I took this energy shots or whatever trying to tell them that something is wrong because I did not believe anxiety and panic attacks could just come on like that out of nowhere how it happened to me like it didn't happen from any certain situation it happened because something I did and yes I regret I regret that day so much because it's ruined my life a stupid decision I made to drink them energy shots which I shouldn't have I know I shouldn't have it caused me to lose my job of over six years. I was making over 18 an hour at. If I was still there, I'd be over 20 something an hour, 24 an hour or whatever. Um, and it's caused me not to go do physical labor jobs. Um, and I'm used to driving. I've tried, trust me, I've tried um, like doing things around the house, this and that, but doing it for too long on my feet, I'll get dizzy. I'm out of breath. I get shortness of breath. I got to lay down, relax for a while, you know? So like, I know what I can handle. I know what I can't. My parents don't really understand this. You know, like they, they said, oh, they're old, you know, they can do what I can, but it's like, it's not, that's not the point because I used to be able to do it until whatever happened to me happened to me. You know, my health got screwed up and I regret everything that happened. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of venting about it. But, like, yeah, basically the point is the PVCs came on 
when I was about to start that job because when you're supposed to start a job, a new job, you know, you're supposed to get excited or stuff or whatever. But me, I get nervous and already regret my decisions and dread the day before I even start because I know what will happen and it will happen right off the bat, you know, the first day when I have to be on my feet for that long. I haven't even tried to be on my feet for that long anymore. Um, I'm normally not on my feet working, not even an hour. So like trying to go eight hours or longer, I, I don't even want to know what would happen. And I, I constantly need water because like I overheat, like I said. So, you know, that's what happens with me and mental health. So now it kind of comes down to the decision that I can't really apply to jobs like that anymore. And should this motivate me even more to try to succeed and work for myself to reach financial freedom? Because I'm not there yet. Yes, I do things work technically for myself, which I've survived, you know, I may not make enough to pay my bills and to get by. But like, it's not really living because I'm grinding every single day trying to make money and everything so like uh i really don't take days off or have fun or hang out with nobody so like i am sacrificing a lot and i'm not sure what to do should i work on you know other things i wanted to do because there's other type of businesses i wanted to start for myself like cause i love what i used to make websites i'm starting like a print on demand business which i've already have designs up and stuff I'm trying to do as much as i can you know it's just a lot to think about, you know. It's a lot to think about. That's what's going, been going through my head. I want to know your guys' opinions, you know. How's your mental health been going for you? Are you in the same boat as I am? Is it stopping you from working and type of jobs, you know? Like, like this video. Leave me some comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because uh, you want to keep up to date with everything. And uh, when we talk about other topics on mental health, I'll be down to do that. Um, I'm wanting to upload a lot more. I'm going to try to upload a couple times a week now. And I also have TikTok, you know, and Instagram. You can follow me on all that stuff, you know. So, yeah, subscribe definitely if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.